Rippy. Garrett. Rippy Garrett. Creepy Carrots. Hello and welcome back. I bet you've heard about a story called Creepy Carrots by Aaron Reynolds. Today, we're going to watch the animation of this book. So if you're ready, grab your storybook and follow me. Let's dive in. Jasper Rabbit had a passion for carrots, and the carrots that grew in Crack and Hopperfield were the best. Fat, crisp, and free for the taking. He pulled some for a morning snack on the way to school. He yanked out a few on his way to Little League practice. And he ripped them from the ground on his way home at night. Isn't life so amazing? Sometimes it can get Jasper crazy, couldn't get enough carrots. We've got another day to make mistakes and say sorry. There's no sense in our worry, cause all we can do is try our best to make it through with love. Until they started following him. That's creepy. He first noticed something strange after the big game against the East Valley Hares. Jasper was about to help himself to a victory snack when he heard the, the soft, sinister tongue, tongue, tongue of carrots creeping. He turned, but there was nothing there. Just my imagination, he thought, but he hopped a little faster. That night, as he was brushing his teeth, there they were! <coughs> Jasper whipped around, but nothing. He laughed at himself, picked his toothbrush off the floor, and went to bed quickly. The next morning, he approached Crack and Hopperfield slowly. He reached for two wild carrots. Nothing happened. He bit into one. Nothing happened. Carrots. It was ridiculous. But when he arrived home that evening, something very spooky happened. <laughs> Jasper screamed. His mom opened the door slowly. There weren't any carrots, not even the regular kind. There are no such things as creepy carrots, mom said, shaking her head. Later that night, as Jasper lay in bed, he heard it. Breathing. 
terrible carroty breathing. And there, on his wall. He shouted. His dad thumped into his bedroom and threw on the line. They searched under the bed. No creepy carrots. They looked through the closet. No creepy carrots. They even opened the dresser drawers. No creepy carrots. Just a bad dream, son. His dad said, shaking his head. Now go to sleep. That wasn't going to happen. By the end of the week, Jasper was seeing creepy carrots creepy everywhere. Jasper knew his parents were wrong. Creepy carrots were real and they were coming for him. But they couldn't get him if they couldn't get out. Jasper hatched a plan. First thing on Saturday, he grabbed supplies and headed to Krakenhopper Field. As the sun finally set across Krakenhopper Field, Jasper Rabbit smiled. On his way home, there was no tongue, tongue, tongue. There were no carrot-shaped shadows. His plan had worked. No creepy carrots would ever get out of that carrot patch again.
And as the sun finally set, the carrots of Kraken Upper Field. Cheered! Their creepy plan had worked! They were sure of it. Jasper Rabbit would never get into that carrot patch ever again. And that was the end of the story, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this beautiful story by Aaron Reynolds and animated by our channel, Five Minutes with Uncle Ben. If you like this story and also the animation, don't forget to drop likes. Till another animated storybook.